Engineering is pretty cool. However, I feel like my academic journey to get to an engineering job was not very well executed. And let me tell you why. Hey, it's Markel. And today I wanna to talk about the biggest regrets slash things I wish I changed in engineering school um, when I was a student. The first thing that I wish I changed was being intentional about selecting my classes. A lot of times I remember going to the guidance counselor and they would say, um, you need five credits here or you need eight electives, whatever it was. But I never really felt like they knew where I was trying to get to. And also they ne never really tied in the relevance for some of the courses. What I wish I did instead was talk to different professors, talk to other classmates and other students and say, what classes are you going to do and why? I don't think that copying someone else's um, course load is necessarily the best path, but if you understand why they picked a course, maybe that can help you in understanding what you should be picking instead. Again, I regret it not actually being intentional with my courses and ended up taking a bunch of classes that I didn't care for. Not my electives or gen eds, but more of like the technical engineering courses that would have better prepared me for the workforce. So number two, not join a technically oriented club or organization. So when I was in school, I was involved as a tutor, a mentor, and a member of different organizations, but none of them had a technical emphasis with it. And what I mean by that is I never really built anything or applied my engineering knowledge within these um, different organizations. And what that did or didn't do was prepare me for a job or like an internship better. So I was really lucky where I was able to use those organizations to bridge to get to certain internships and that was how I was able to develop my technical skill set or apply my technical skill set I should say. When I was back in school it was just like running through classes and then helping with organizations but not really applying what I was learning. If you're a student who's interested in a company like Tesla Rivian or any car company or electric car company or anything of the like I would highly recommend joining a team like the Formula SAE or joining a Hyperloop team or joining even like a Grand Prix team, anything like that where you're actually building or working on a car so you understand how it actually works and operates, some of the technical challenges that you'll experience, understand some of the components within it so that you can then pinpoint where you're actually interested, it would make all the difference. Here, I regret not joining a technically oriented organization or club and I would highly recommend if you're an engineering student studying, um, especially like electrical, like join anything that makes you apply or challenges you to apply that knowledge. Not just something that is research oriented, unless you think that you're gonna go to get like a master's or advanced degree after that, um, where you're gonna get deeper into the subject matter. Research is going to give you more exposure to understand and dig into like the groundbreaking issues within a field, but not necessarily apply it and practical uses that you would probably do in a job today. But at the same time, it could prepare you for a job tomorrow. So I think it's still valuable. It just depends on where you're trying to go with it. And the last thing is focusing too much on the GPA and grades and not gaining or developing an understanding of the concepts. For me, I remember like it was yesterday, focusing so much on I have to get at least a 3.0 on everything. I need to get a B or higher in every class. But sometimes I didn't even understand the material and I would just like somehow push my way through. And so I had a, a manager of mine once told me that he would prepare for every single course as if he was going to TA it the next semester. What that means to me is he would understand the material to a level that he's able to teach it to someone else. So instead of thinking, I want to get a good grade in this class, think I will need to teach this information to someone else. Do I have a solid understanding of the subject matter? I think that changes the way that we'll probably approach how we learn things. Instead of learning it to a, a specific threshold, um, we try to achieve more of the mastery, which will then in turn get us better grades. Again, learn the subject matter, and if it's not reflected in your GPA, try to figure out and try to talk to your professors, but make sure that you're not just trying to get the good grades to get a job, but you're really focusing on understanding the concepts holistically and applying them and finding ways to apply them. So those are the first few things that came to mind and let me know if you found this valuable, give it a thumbs up if so. If there's any other questions related to this or any other things that you feel like I missed or you wanna to add to this, throw them in the comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say. 
And if you wanna hear more content or see more content like this, I encourage you to subscribe. Uh, I'll be dropping more videos um, just like this. Well, not exactly like it, but similar. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.